We'll uh, call the meeting to order today, oh, April 14th, 2022, 5 p.m. Public Board of Public Works and Safety held holding our meeting here at the George Keller Public Assembly Room in the Lawrence Governmental Center. We'll go directly to the agenda. We will call the meeting to order, as I mentioned, and we do have a quorum to do business, and the record will reflect that. Uh, first item would be the minutes of the regular meeting on March 24th, 2022. Are there any corrections or deletions? Hearing none, is there a motion um, to approve those minutes? Uh, motion to approve. By Mr. Clark. Is there a second? Second. By Mrs. Browner. Uh, I will abstain since I was not present for that meeting. So all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Aye, and the motion carries 2-0. Thank you. Unfinished business, none before the board, directly to new business, the opening of the bids for the LGC remodel. And we will open those bids, and then uh, City Legal will then review those along with the controller and any other city officials that need to review those. And a recommendation would be made at our next regular meeting. Okay. All right, thank you. So we received two bids. The first... Uh, was from Patreon LLC, and the second one was from uh, Powers and Sons. Patreon uh, bid is $138,997. This suspense is killing me. They like glued this one shut. Come on, guys. from Power and Sons, uh, the total is $122,920. So we'll take these and we'll come back on the 28th with a recommendation. Sounds good. Any questions from the board? Okay. Thank you for opening those and we'll wait to hear your recommendation. Do you have a, a, a dollar amount already, you know, like when you thought it would come in? Is that within the budgeted amounts yeah i mean my i kind of guesstimated anywhere in the 100 to 150 range so we're still in that right in that area so no nothing here shocking at least so and do you guys know what it's gonna what the remodeling is gonna include i cover that. I, I would <laughs> defer to your so the we're doing um the remodeling on the main floor split into two um, on the I just keep calling it Corey Corn's office, but over here we're going to remodel where uh, the fire department used to be. That'll become more of a uh, welcome center. So the doorway entry will shift and we'll have like a, a greeter will kind of be in there as well as some administrative offices. And then on the other side where the police used to be will be the uh, utility space as well as the clerk. She'll still be over there. So um, we're doing those two separately. So these bids specifically were for the welcome center location. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It'll be nice once it gets completed. Uh, Full improvement using our space wisely, as they say. <clears throat> Item B would be a, uh, approval, and Jim's here with us, uh, approval of the city garage to trade in equipment and purchase six wireless, and I'm not sure how to say, stair, stair till pony? I don't either. Okay. S-T-E-R-T-I-L. I don't want to offend their, their name, and K-O-N-I. So uh, go ahead, Jim. Hang on. Those, have you been at the school bus garage? Any of you guys seen the big lifts they've got? We've got older ones now, but they got tethered. They got wires, which means it's a trip hazard. They're, they're old. Got one. Now they're wireless, so they have no trip hazard. They, they lift up big trucks. So we can move them around anywhere in the shop. And we're getting rid of the old drive-on lift that is just antiquated and 
it's only good for oil changes and you can't let do tires or nothing. It's just that's what that's for. So uh, this is our request from uh, street department approval, approval of the uh, city garage to trade in equipment and purchase the six uh, and, and that's certainly within your budget I know so that money is there so is there questions on it I had to look it up yeah. <laughs> see what it was but I know what they are yeah they're a handy tool the wireless perfect. yeah wireless would be real nice key safety is key yeah no wires on the ground I did not look it up. So um, what? I thought it was for patching asphalt. Oh, that's the next one. That's the next oh, one. Oh, okay. I, You're a day ahead. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> next item. Well, these are the big lifts. They've been school buses. It's just you can actually lift them up. You can remove the tires on their old lift. You can't do that. You're limited. You can only oil changes. And oh, okay. It's not the right. pneumatic thing that goes? Yes. Okay. They're, they're big posts. They're big all right they all, they all talk back and forth and they raise the same time or yeah it is probably much safer. that should be one of the last things we need in that garage too by the way it's where we're all day of the art now so right and we gain floor space by getting rid of that big drive on lift which we need badly okay hearing those comments any other questions hearing none's motion to approve uh for this new equipment motion to approve by mr clark is there a second Second. Second. By Mrs. Brown. Are questions on the motion? <laughs> Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 And that carries 3 0. Then we'll go directly to item C. Thank you on the item B idea there. That'll help our street department immensely. Approval of street department to trade in one hot box 8,000 P. Is that stand for ton or is that just? No, that's just the model number. Model number. All four times. A vortex and purchasing new equipment. So, what do you got there? The difference between it is it's an old one. It does not dump. No hydraulics. It, it has two big propane tanks on the side of it, which I call two-ton bombs. Okay. The way people drive today, they're, they're, and we're having trouble getting them filled. This is a diesel. We just go to our truck, fill it up. It's a heated jacket. In the winter time, it keeps the asphalt even warmer, and uh, and it dumps. <clears throat> Now we'll have two of them like that. So when we do our patching, big patches, right? Can, yeah, because we replaced one. Yes. Er, yeah, two years ago. Yes. Yeah, I remember. Yes. So this will expedite your ability to go to the asphalt yes, we'll place able, on the we'll other side. We'll be able to do eight time. tons with these. Plus, if we need to, we got trucks to do it. But for hot for going potholes, you really need a hot box because to keep it hot. hot. Yeah. This will actually keep it hot overnight too, which is. More tools we have for. We do our pothole blitz. We need two of them anyway because we have a lot guys out doing them. We'd spend all day on. Never a shortage of potholes in the city if you don't know. We've got some potholes. Yeah. <laughs> Other questions on it? No, that's great. You got a trade in too, so that's even better. Oh, yeah. Two trade ins. We're getting rid of our old total patch. I don't know if you, it's, it's supposed to be an on site asphalt generator. It's not for city use, it's for. County uses for chip and seal roads. I didn't buy it. It was bought before I got here. It's just not feasible to use it. It's very cumbersome to clean. You gotta buy the certain tar, you gotta go down and get it, certain rock, which we had trouble finding rock, where it's a certain number eleven, it's real small. It just didn't have any, so wasn't useful. It's just taking up space, we need to get rid of it. Yeah. That's great. Having heard those comments from Jim Hennigan, is there a motion to approve the new hot box? Motion to approve. Mr. Clark, is there a second? Second. By Mrs. Browner. Uh, questions on the motion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries 3 0. I was going to clarify something. The last meeting you, were, you asked me about the berm on Lee Road. Mm -hmm. That wasn't for drainage. That's to keep cars from going out in the woods, hitting trees. I know you asked me that question, and I, I didn't hear your question, right? Oh, okay. But it's actually, it's, it's, it saves several cars from going out in the woods. They ride the berm. They don't go head on into trees. We still got, we just got our chevrons put up today or yesterday. Huh. More dirt work and stuff to do. That makes sense. Yeah, it, it helps. It's helped a lot of people. Well, thank you for that. If we ever get any dry weather, we'll be able to see some so you down, so it'd look a lot Maybe you can help out that that house and on Boy School School Road that has their 
A little fence. <laughs> you can down all. I don't know if they want a dirt burn, but I mean, if they did, we got plenty of dirt to give them. But who's good, you know? Yeah, it does. It does help. Oh, okay. And it does block some water too. Yes, it does. Too. Yeah, I was just, I was driving me crazy for no <laughs> reason at all, but it was. So thank you. I was. I, I just I misunderstood you when you asked the question. I mean, I took you wrong, and I wanted to make it, make it right. Much appreciated. I actually saw you doing that work two summers mm -hmm. ago, and it's. Mm -hmm. You probably heard another question about 79th and Fall Creek, where we are turning on to 79th Street off of Fall Creek by the McDonald's down there. Mm -hmm. uh, is That's, that uh, we're, a patch? Or, well, uh, I think, Shree, we're trying to get the next crossroad grant, and that's going to be one of them we get, yes. that's It's beyond strip patching. It's, it, it's wounded. I think he's going to do all 79th Street, which I'm not sure why, but that's not ours to redo, but he's... Okay. So it's kind of in the radar. Yeah, well, yes, yes. Definitely. <laughs> if we get this next grant, so. Right. Okay. Good enough on that. Um, anything else to bring us up to date on there what since about we 56 got. Street? Part of 56 Street. Now that's a, that's. In front of LC. Now that's the Shree part. He said we're supposed to, they're supposed to open bids next month. I can't speak on because I don't know everything Shree does, but it's supposed to be getting fixed. Okay. I don't want to lie to you and tell you it's going to because you know how it's been. Has the city of Indianapolis moved that project forward from 2024? Well, they've moved it several times. Yeah. To the back of the list. We're to the point now where it's it's not even just wasting money because it's not going to work. Well, what about Franklin now that we're throwing things out? I think Franklin Road's going to be taken care of. You know where the water main project is? Whatever they're doing on Franklin. Yeah, it's, that's water main. They're doing a much needed replacement there, but yeah, they'll take. Because part of that will be resurfaced through that project, so that will help tremendously. It's great. They're doing a lot. Of, they're doing a lot of work in the city that calls for repayment, so they're really helping us out on their end too. Great news. Yep. Going in the right direction. Yeah. Good. Thank you, sir. Good, Jim. Thank you. Right on. Uh, any other comments, administrators? Uh, not today. Uh, citizens' comments. Hearing none, I'm a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. By Mr. Clark, second. By Mr. Brown, are all those in favor? Signify by saying aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you, board. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you, Jim.